Hello YouTube. So uh, today I made this UAV. It is based on one from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. That's a game. Uh, I'll see if I can't pull. Oh goodness. We're fine. Yeah, it doesn't have any rudder because it's supposed to be like a almost flying wing design, so. It has no rudder. Tanks AI control on. Guard mode, yes. Cool. Um, so you know, I made this thing. It's a UAV. Pretty cool. Um, now, in the game, this deploys you. Um, the BD Armory doesn't have anything that dangerous, so I got the next best thing. That worked excellently, I know. Oh, that's not it. So yeah, um, it works. It is in fact unmanned. It does in fact have nuclear missiles. And it is in fact pretty darn cool, in my opinion. Alright, so real quick, I'm gonna turn that on show you this is what it looks like in game. So obviously you know mine's not looking perfect. Give me a sec to turn that off. Perfect. Mine's not perfect and it's a little hard to see right now given that it's going supersonic. There we go, that's better. But it does work. It does also have AI control. Um, just deploy the missiles so that the AI doesn't try firing it. Give me control. So the 
tank got away on this game. Uh, the Kerbal Space Center did not. I suppose the only real thing to do now is just put it up against another fighter, so I will prepare that. Alright, we're going to be putting it up against a Su-57, because why not? It's something I made recently. That is 10,000 feet, or meters, rather. Let's hope that's fair enough. Because then again, this thing is not very movable. This is meant... In the game, this is like sort of a long-range multi-mission drone. Yeah, it's just kind of meant to deploy things. Whereas this is a fighter jet, so... Not sure how effective it's going to be against a super maneuverable fighter jet, you know? does not have any countermeasures, but that's fine, because it's a UAV, it's expendable. And the nuclear missile takes the win. Alright, we're going to give that one more go, maybe two, and then we're going to call it. I intend to keep this video relatively short. It is a pretty cool looking movie, though. Know? I have tested the top speed. It is about Mach 2.6 which is very respectable for something with unswept wings. That's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good, honestly. Not what I expected. Not at all what I expected from it. It's impressive. It's also got a really wide wingspan, so I doubt that's helpful. In terms of speed. Yeah, I really like that mechanism. Deploying new missiles. I think it's pretty cool. Box one. He might be able to get away from it. Nope, he's down. He may not be down, but he's down. Oh, it put everything away by itself. Oh no, it didn't look like I was looking at the top. See, the top and the bottom look pretty much the same, aside from landing gear. Alright, we're going to do one more. Uh, this one at only one kilometer, because I think that's really going to make a difference, given that this thing has such low maneuverability. Missiles collide? Is that what happened? 
I think the missiles collided. That's crazy. Also, this thing does have nuclear missiles, so I guess it is almost fair. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.